It's been fantastic, Adam. I've just come to the, really the end of my six months off. Um, one of the reasons that I, I decided to take the leave is that every dad that I'd spoken to, whether their child was one, six or 16, had said, I wish I could have some of that time back from that first year because it's a really special time where so much changes. Um, my wife was keen to go back to work um, and so it worked out really well for us. Special time, but quite a complicated time. In, in fact, it's been described as some of the most complicated employment law ever created because you can divvy it up any which way. And you did exactly that, didn't you? Tell us how it sort of all fell for you. Yeah, so there are a lot of options, which I think it's good that uh, parents or parents to be uh, are made aware of. In, in my case, I took the kind of two week standard paternity at the start. Um, and then uh, my wife uh, had three months and then I took over at that point when she went back to work and I've had the six months from now. Um, but you, both parents can take time off at the same time um, and yeah, you can really chop and change, which does make it tricky. And obviously when employers are going through things for the first time, there are quite a lot of questions to, to answer. So you'd recommend it, obviously? Definitely, yeah, definitely encourage it. Ben, the, the figures aren't entirely clear that 1% of working men have taken this up. Well, not, not all of them are going to be dads or want to be dads or have been dads when they could take advantage of this. But even so, you think it's still quite a low take up at this point? Yeah, I think initial estimates when, when we put this in, when the government put this in place, we thought it would be between 2 and 6% in the first year. So the headline figure. 1% of eligible dads taking it up is a little bit disappointing. So disappointing, but do you think a lot of people see it as it's early days for this kind of thing? It's really early days. I mean, it is complicated. It's a year in. And I think one of the, well, two key figures. First of all, 63% of dads said they want to take it up at some point in the future. And I think what will be really important is some of the trailblazers like Adam, they're going to take it off. They're going to take time off. They're going to come back. They're going to talk about their experiences and their careers are not going to be blown off tracks. So they're going to come back motivated and happy. So that's going to be really important. Some people will hear that some dads aren't taking it up and they'll assume it's them who don't want to do it. But we heard from that stat that 55% of women said they didn't want to give up their time. Yeah. So it could be women preventing men from doing it. You know, that was the one really disappointing, shocking statistic that came out. 50, and remember, the data was lots of career women and the kind of people you thought would be fighting for equality, but 55% said no, they thought maternity leave was theirs. They've carried the baby, they've gone through childbirth, this is their right. So that, that is societal and that really needs to change. Yeah, have, you, have you noticed that, Adam, that perhaps people on both sides, if you like, whether they're men or women or working or not working, parents or not, need to change their perception of this. Yeah, I think it's gonna be, require some cultural and societal shift. Um, I think the question about mums kind of not wanting to give up or rescind some of their, uh, some of their time off, um, it's just about the couple having a chat. I mean, uh, I think one example would be that the dad just takes an extra two weeks. That would be double what the standard two weeks paternity is right now and would only require the mum to give up two weeks of her time. Having gone through it now, what would you have done differently, perhaps? Um, I think probably I would have had a greater hand handover time, as you want to call it that. Uh, so my wife and I just had a week off where we were all together and actually looking back, that was a really nice time, which we wish we could have had more of. So uh, that would be the one change, I think.